I'm getting worried that the uh, the part of Azric we're getting to <laughs> is I I'm worried we're gonna get to a part where the only thing we have to do is backtrack and try and find all the discs that we couldn't get before in order to access things and that's gonna require reading a lot of guides but I do in my head I already know of like two that we can go do right now so we can go get those discs immediately uh, all right lore we're getting we're getting to the fun part of the lore now in the manual because I think all I've got left are the creatures creatures like trolls Oh, that's not the right way. Flip. No, that was not the right flip. Oh, okay, well that works. Um, so there's a few pages of, of creatures, of animals in this game. Uh, that tell you all about the different monsters and stuff. So we can start with this first basic page, which is about the bots. I love the bots so much. They're my favorite enemy in this game. I just think they're really cute for some reason. Enhance. Zoom, enhance. Give me that bot. So yeah, they were, they're like the maintenance robots that like repair all of the ancient structures. And they look kind of like Nautiluses, and they're very cute when they're not trying to, like, slap you off of platforming puzzles. Uh, and then it also briefly talks about the elementals, though it doesn't have any pictures. But those are, like, the the ladies that are, like, made out of the pure elements, like the fire and the water and stuff. Uh, but, yeah, it doesn't really talk much about their nature or why they are. And barnacles... They slap you. That's what they do. And sleets are just lizards, and they can breathe acid. So that's the deep lore on the sleets. I know you were waiting for the big reveal on that one, but they're just big lizards <laughs> that spray acid. <laughs> I still like the bots the most. All right. So we've got level two on all of our powers now, fire, earth, and air, and water. Uh, which has opened up some new possibilities. Hold on. There we go. I know one disc we can go get now is back in the Fire Realm. The first area of the Fire Realm. And I think we can go get the one that was in the icy part of the Water Realm that we couldn't get before because we didn't have enough flying. Because now we have level 2 flying and I think that should be enough. Uh, and then, what do we have for discs? If we get one more water disc, one more earth disc, or one more fire disc, that will be enough to, to challenge any of the three guardians, which we have access to all of them at the moment. We can, we can, as soon as we get that third disc, we can go fight any of the bosses, which, uh, that'll be fun. The bosses are cool. Some of them are anyways. All right, let's, Fire Realm is on the opposite side. I think it's both a blessing and a curse that the fastest way to get around in this game is to like propel yourself by jumping. Cause it gets old after a while, but it does look funny. It looks very funny. Because now we can flap twice. That's two whole flaps. That should let us climb up that ice thing. Nope. 
there's lots of obsidians that we could go and backtrack and get now, but like they're just absolutely not worth it. So, last time we were here, we got knocked off, which is not what we want to do. Because uh, this way over here, that we never... Wow, that's bright. This way... Which we may actually not be able to do anything here yet, but listen to this music, cause this music is awesome. It's one of my favorite tracks in the game. I love this area. So this is the this is the fire the fire guardian's palace. He's the only one that gets a palace. You have found the stronghold of the fire guardian. Enable the mine car, which will take you to his lair. don't think we definitely can't challenge the fire guardian yet because we don't have the fire disc that we need um, but there might be other fragments in in this area oh, there's an obsidian right there the level designer was kind of bored on this one and they didn't feel like uh, they didn't feel like actually making a platforming puzzle, so they just threw a bunch of rubble here, and they're like, "Guys, hey, just fucking throw some gems on it. Who cares? Put a fucking obsidian up there. They'll, they'll climb it. Because that right there requires the fire guardian, or requires the, the fire disc. So there's not really anything we can do over there. I'm pretty sure that is an invisible wall. And we can't fly over that. There's firepower up there, though. Soon. We're close to leveling up our elements again, so we should actually go out of our way to try and collect some gems. There's, like, can you hear it? There's very mild, like, very quiet background music that plays in between the, the like, the Fire Guardian blaringness. It's like, you can hear it, just barely. Can you hear that? It's so, why is it so quiet? <laughs> and why why is it playing? Yeah, and then that then this part comes back on. It's like there's two. This area has two different songs that one is always playing very quietly, and then one doesn't play for a long time. Mm. Mm. Bye. Bye.
there's no reason to come up here. So I guess you can come here if you have Earth 2, or even if you don't. So if you just have Fire and Water 2, you can go in through like this side passage over here, but if you have Earth and Water 2, you can go in through the front doors. What are you guys weak to? Yeah, I think it's this. Um, well, you missed me, uh, share, like, a, a really boring page from the lore book, and, uh, we're at the Firekeeper's Palace right now, which has really bitchin' soundtrack, but other than that, I said Firekeeper, I meant Fire Guardian, but other than that, nothing really happened. Um, we are probably going to fight more than one boss in this stream. We're probably gonna fight two maybe even like three of the of the basic bosses because like i'm thinking about it now and we literally only need one more disc fragment of each and i know where like two of them are right now so that's gonna go fast though actually i don't know if all of those the two disc fragments i know where they are i don't know if either of them are water earth and fire or if they're like air and life That's not a cave. That's not a cave. Where's the cave? Wait. Oh, that's the only place this goes? I thought there was a side passage for sure. Also, we're back in this hellhole. We're back we're back in Fire Realm Maze. Everyone's favorite area. I bet there's just an obsidian in there. Either way, we can't get it. We need level 3 water and earth for that. But we can go get this up here. Which has been taunting us for a while. Now, I'm not saying your theory is wrong, Purple. Your theory that the discs are just Nickelback CDs. I'm not saying that's wrong. But... If it is true, I would like you to explain to me how the Nickelback CD controls an ancient AI and, and tells it to keep the realm alive. That was water, though. So now we can go fight the water realm boss. That'll be fun. And the other disc fragment I know about is actually in the water realm, so this works out good. Bop. Uh, now I gotta remember how to get back up there. This was an ordeal last time. God damn it. <laughs> jump, jump, jump. Oh, they're weak to ice, not water. <laughs> that works. Do you think? 
Do you think? I don't... Maybe with Flight 3 we could do that. Maybe with Air 3. But I'm really just not feeling like we can make that. Uh, Alright. Alright, we'll try. I should have more faith in myself. The flight in this game is just so bad that I never trust it to actually be able to make any jump, aside from the ones that I obviously have to do. is confused again. Alright, so now we gotta go to the water realm. Which is thankfully right next door. I don't know, should we get the other disc fragment? Or should we go straight for the, uh... Should we go straight for the water guardian and just see what the boss fight is like? Because it's not like we have any progression in between now and, and the Water Guardian. Like, it's the fight's going to be the same whether we fight her now or in a, in a minute. There, there is no deep lore. There is a lady made out of water. <laughs> Did you see that? I climbed that tree at the exact moment I was transitioning levels, so it was like part of the cutscene. I didn't even mean to do that. I didn't even know you could do that. Look how fast we're going down this hill. That jumping tech is so real. I think you need flying three to get that. It does not look like in reach of flight two. This is the central part of the Actually, something really cool might happen here if we fight the Water Guardian. I don't remember when the thing I'm thinking of happens, but it might be right when we kill the Water Guardian. So let's just go do it and see what happens. Actually, I don't know if there's a save point right before the Water Guardian, so I probably should have used the teleporter and used the save point over here. But I didn't, so we're going to slowly swim all the way over there. And remember that the Whirlpool is there waiting for you, should you ever falter. Okay. Let's go for it. If I can remember where it is. Oh, no, I remember now. There's actually a save point right outside the... There's a save point right outside the Water Guardian. So we didn't even need to do that. But whatever. I think if there's one thing we've established with Azric is that I cannot save often enough. Here we go. Man, I... 
I still don't know how I feel about Lichdom Battle Mage because so it's like part of the Steam series, and the whole the whole point of the Steam series is that I. I want to play every single game I have in my Steam library to completion, like all the way to the end, whether it's like good or not or anything, just to be able to say that I did it. But Lichdom Battle Mage is just so generically not interesting to me <laughs> that it hurts, and I don't know how much longer it is. And it's like, I can't give up on the first game that that has made me feel this way. So I guess we're just going to keep playing it until it gets so bad that I want to die. Oh, wait, you know what I also just realized, though? I think when you kill a guardian, it teleports you back to the tower. So maybe we should have done our other water realm thing first, because it's going to teleport us out of here after this. There she is, though. Just because we won't have many opportunities to actually look at her. She's like in some kind of vehicle. I don't is it supposed to represent like an animal or something? Looks kinda like an octopus. It's a cool design though, like everything else in this game. I think she is water. Is there anything... Is that anything down there? I don't know. But she's... She's rub-a-dub sitting in the tub. And there's bubbles everywhere. I think you can actually get trapped in the bubbles. Oh yeah, and she summons these like water tentacles to attack you. Uh, okay. So if I remember correctly... You gotta freeze these. And then... She's kind of like a Naga, it looks like. Reminds me of that. Um, Alright, her music stopped playing. Alright, there it goes again. <laughs> we found a music dead zone right here. I think. No, it's just weird. Alright. I would like them to die. And yeah, she can whack her own people, it seems like. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Ow. That's not really a way to dodge that. You just have to not be in range. You gotta do s Hmm. You have to freeze them. I remember you have to freeze them, and then you have to do something else to them. Considering fire is here, the fire element is here, I'm sure it has something to do with fire. Oh, st it's probably steam, because, you know, steam melts ice. That's like the first, the first thing we learned. Stop. Yep, that's it. Ow. Oh, it's all short now. Oh, it's all it's all like a little baby tentacle now. It's so sad. All right, that one's dead. Give me your health, please. Don't kill me. That's not what I said. Ow. All right. 
I think if you stand in the bubbles, they, uh... I think if you stand in the bubbles, like, you get stuck in them and they float you around. But I think it might also hurt you, so I don't want to... I don't want to mess with that. I'm low on health already. Yeah, get him. Yeah, get him. Also, it's kind of disappointing... She doesn't actually have a unique battle theme. This is just the stormy part of the Water Realm song. For a game that's main strength is that it has a good soundtrack. It's a bit disappointing that the bosses don't have unique songs. Come here. Whoa, what? Wow, that was... That thing's got some reach. Out. There we go. We're about to first try this, maybe. I I don't think this game is that smart. Um it's very like I I I think I've explained how it works before, but the way the element switching is actually pretty seamless. Um you just hold down left trigger and then press any of the the color buttons, so green like A X Y, B, and you'll see the elements lighting up in the bottom right there as they're selected. Uh, and nothing is inputted until you let go of left trigger, at which point it, it inputs whatever ones are highlighted, which is actually probably the best way to do it. Oh, and hold on. I gotta reset. I gotta reset the... I just noticed we got a little bit of frame loss. Let me just <laughs> stop the boss fight for a second. I right, hold on. I'll get right back to you. Give me a second. Um, yeah, there's no sub menus or anything. It's all very like intuitive and makes sense. So like, if I need to combine water and fire, I just hit. I hold left trigger, hit blue and red. And as I've done multiple times in this fight, like I have to do ice, which is air, water, earth. Uh, sometimes I accidentally hit fire. When I hit fire. It do, as long as I realize that I've just hit fire, it's very simple to just unhit fire. Just hit fire again, and that just fixes the issue. And then I'm, I'm like, I don't get all mixed up in it and annoyed by it. I'm like, oh crap, I gotta do it over again. It's, it's a surprisingly effective system for a somewhat complex. Uh, a somewhat complex arrangement. I think that's it. Yeah, I think she's dead. <laughs> Forgot. Forgot about that voice line. <laughs> Did you say... Alright, I need to be quiet the next time this happens because I didn't realize he had a voice line. I think he said, I won, but what now? You can tell it's the water disc because there's both. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. So I guess maybe it's just the whirlpool that happened this time, but yeah, the whirlpool's gone, so we don't have to be terrified of that anymore. But look, the water disc is back. 
and uh, the fountain in the courtyard should be back to working order because of it. Two more obsidians. It does, and it it actually matters too. Uh, you'll see why soonish. But like now, the whirlpool is gone, which presumably the water guardian was messing that up. Going crazy. Let me see if I can find the fountain. Yeah, look, now the fountain is on and, and spinning around because we fixed the water realm. Isn't that pretty? All these other things will activate once we fix their realm too, so. Travel to the fire nah, shut up, I need more discs. Like, yeah, this will this will burst into flame. Uh, all those rocks will start floating when the earth realm is good. There's like a windmill somewhere. All right, but yeah, we should not have done that in that order actually, because now I have to go back to the water realm to do something else. And I, I pr whoa. All right. If I did not grab that ledge, I think I would have catapulted off the cliff and died. I had a lot of janky momentum going there. Try this again. Do it again. Oh, it's this tree right here. Oh man, I missed. So yeah, that's the first boss fight. She's at least cool looking. And the tentacles were I, I was actually impressed by like the moveset that those tentacles had, even though they uh it was largely unpredictable, undodgeable, and not very fun. <laughs> um, the tentacles, at the, at like, it looked like each tentacle had like at least four or five different attacks it could do. And then you had to balance it between dodging the bubbles and uh, not getting hit by the blasts of water. And then also all those little water people were running around. Not the worst boss fight in a video game. Uh, presentation could have been better. She could have had, like, voice lines or, like, maybe, uh, like, her, you know, her own music. That could have been nice. I don't think I actually do anything at this whirlpool just yet. Um, but I do wonder if there's anything down there. Okay, now hold on. So that whirlpool, like, is there by design. Like, that's, that's, this is what this does. Also, yeah, there's an obsidian down there, I think. They just made a giant drain to suck up all the water in the ocean. Just because they could. And then the, the water guardian just turned it on. What a menace to society she was for turning on the drain ocean button. I think that's further evidence that this planet is being terraformed, though. Just saying. Just saying. These blue people are aliens. I'm just saying. Oh, is that the, the Ancients washing machine? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. 
Now let me check up here just to make sure there's nothing to do, but I don't think there is just yet. Yeah, there's no buttons or anything. We'll, we'll come back to this later. But for now, that was just a bonus obsidian. We must go to Iceland. Which is actually where the Water Guardian was, if you weren't paying attention to the cutscene. If you actually paid a lot attention last time we were in the Ice Realm, there was like a giant building off in the distance that we never went to. That's where she was. And we just like drove, we like rode a pipe over here that took us in from underneath. But I think it's over here. It's hard to see. You have to like turn your camera to like see it through the fog. Yeah, there it is. That's where she was in there. We rode that pipe into there. You can actually see like through the I'm curious okay I was just curious to see if there was actually anything loaded in here if you're not supposed to be in here but no there's not or if it is it's not rendered until the, the player model is anywhere near it I think I can get this now. Uh, no. Yeah, they really could have done like underwater enemies, but there's no underwater combat, so they would have to like have programmed that, yeah. which they, I think they should have. I think that would have been a great addition to this game, and it would have made the water realm feel like way cooler. Though I think that also would have terrified a lot of people, because a lot of people have a, have a phobia of that kind of thing. What does that do? We couldn't do this before. Uh, bubbles? It does... It does bubbles. Well, I'm glad I could do bubbles. Why bubbles? Man, all this goddamn Jeremy Soul music in this game is making me want to play Night's Yield Republic really bad. But we'll get to it eventually. Bonk. 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 Oh, I missed that one. Double bonk. Triple bonk. Actually, I just hit that dude in the nuts. <laughs> I just jabbed that dude in the nuts with my staff. Ow! Alright, I'm getting payback. Speaking of being terrified of the ocean, though, I'm... Uh, Subnautica Sub-Zero looks like it's coming along very well. I've just decided I'm not... I have the early access. I've just decided I'm not going to play it until it's, like, done, though. Because that's how I played the first one. I didn't play the original Subnautica until it was, like, finished. And I think it greatly benefited from that experience. 
There's an obsidian that we can backtrack and get after we're done with this, too. Uh, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait for that one. As cool as it looks, I, I would rather wait for it to be even better. This was it, right? This was, this was ice. Wait. Did that... Did those somehow make this bridge not slippery anymore? Is that what that did? The bubbles made... Okay, fucking whatever. I didn't even need flight for this. But that's fire disc. We can go fight the fire guardian. I have no idea what that was, though. But, you, you know, whatever. That's fine. Maybe it's snow? Maybe that's a snow generator, and, like, coating this ice in snow made it easier to walk on? Question mark? Look at these particles. Okay, those, those are definitely snowflakes, but the rest of that definitely looks like bubbles to me. Okay, but that's like definitely snow. So I guess that is what happened. It really could have done a better job of expressing that that's what happened, but I guess that's what happened. <laughs> And that's another 10 obsidian, so we can get another reward from over there. We'll get it after we kill the fire guardian. Ow. Please save. Thanks. Bonk. I'm still pretty sure I can make this jump if I really tried. Yes. There we go. That's another one. Another one in the bag. Alright. Yeah, so we're going to go fight another boss now. It's time to go fight the Fire Guardian. And if anyone wants to Google where the Earth Discs are and figure out where the third Earth Disc is so we can go get that one, we can do that too. Actually, I think I might know where it is. I think it might be in the Earth Realm. Maybe. Oh. Go to the Earth Realm, find the disc, good luck. <laughs> Not that guy's guy. I don't want his guy. I also think there's some lag again. No, wait, there's not. It's fine. Uh. This is the simple part. But going to the Fire Guardian will get us Firepower 3, which will be nice. We can glow like just super bright with Fire 3. It'll rock. Okay, now I am seeing some frame loss actually. weird it like came and went and now it's gone again I need to look into I need to look into the lag I got the stormy water place 
One, I have to do lights on the tree. Okay, so that is in the Earth Realm, then. Is that actually... Is, where, where did you get that guide that you just linked? It's surprisingly helpful because of how well I know this game, but... Uh, you couldn't tell by, by the way it is written. There's one in the stormy water place, one after you do lights on the tree, and one is over by the first earth fragment. The bad news is, in order to get that last earth fragment, we're going to need to do that crystal puzzle, and that crystal puzzle is the one that I uh, was going to write down, and I, I did write down, and then I accidentally deleted it, because I'm dumb. So, if you could, uh, if someone else could look, can go ahead and Google the solution to the crystal puzzle. So we don't have to like go back and watch videos. That would be good. Such a good forum. I think I needed to turn back there. I think I missed my turn. Yeah, I did. Alternatively, we can just brute force the crystal puzzle. It's actually not... Uh... Okay, you just... Alright, solution is good. Yeah, you can actually brute force the crystal puzzle by just trying every combination. Or like trying uh, one at a time to see what the next in the sequence is. And it'll eventually let you through. Oh, all right. Press the A button. It's a good thing there's a safe point right there. All right. Stop. Let me go. Is there anything over here? No. Just death. There is a side passage. Oh, this is how you get up here. To this thing that we can't do. I'm curious what's in here. It's an obsidian. Okay. So, nothing really worth worrying about. I also like how it's to get the crystal to work. And to get the crystal to work. You gotta hit it with the elements. We really should have gone in through the front door. I don't know why I went around the side path. stuck. Please, I beg you. We're so close to getting a water upgrade. We need like three more sapphires. We need like two more sapphires. Same with emeralds. Oh, 
open sesame. So the Fire Palace is a pretty cool area too. It's kind of like part fortress, like a it's like a war a war fortress, but it's also kind of like a it feels like a temple to the the fire element at the same time. And it also feels a little bit like a crypt, yeah. I'm actually not sure how to get back out of this area. I did it once. Considering I got down here before. Stop it. Huh. So like a path down here. Don't breathe fire on me. Oh. I don't know if this is it, but there's a side path over here. Also, sorry there's been no YouTube uploads lately. I've got all of the backlog edited down, uh, and I'm going to start uploading them all tonight. So, tonight the, the channel should just completely fill up. I actually should be killing these guys for health. Because they're... They're pretty safe murders. So if you're looking for past Azurek streams, which of course you are, because they're the best content on the internet, uh, this is the best video game ever made, um, those should be popping up again shortly. Because I think Twitch has deleted most of them at this point. And the System Two sh System Shock Two highlights video is like about half done, uh, and I will also work on editing some of that tonight as well. I'm I'm putting more effort into that one than I did the first one, and trying out some new things. So, uh, not like anything super drastic, but there's there's some fun things in it that are like my brand of dumb humor that I really like. Here. Oh, I, I upgraded my water power without even realizing. Oh, speaking of my brand of dumb humor, hold on. I have, I have something important to share. Well, Look at it as soon as I get to a safe spot. So, okay. I work at a retail store. And uh, I bought something the other day from work. Uh, I actually just realized I have to jump off of this. Um, I bought something the other day. And uh, I just... It was a dollar, 
It was in like our, our cheap dollar section that we have at the front of the store. And uh, it was a poster, a cat in the hat. It was like a Dr. Seuss poster. It had a cat in the hat on it um, and a, a picture of, uh, it, sorry, it had a picture of the cat in the hat on it and a quote from the Lorax, which is uh, here. I have pictures. I'm going to go get the pictures. Why are they so hard to find? This is really important to me, so like this is... Okay. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. This is worth holding up the stream, I promise. Here it is. So. It's a quote from the Lorax, which is about like environmentalism and stuff. Uh, it says, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. And it has a cat and a hat on it. But I noticed that the bottom half it's just kind of framed so that it's the cat in the hat next to the words, nothing is going to get better. It's not. And I kind of just fucking loved that. I don't know why, but I thought that was like the funniest thing ever. Um, so I, uh, ah, oh shit, I didn't download the other one. Hold on. So I, uh, I bought it for a dollar. God damn it. Please work. Oh, right, that's why. I bought it for a dollar and then I cut it in half. So now I actually have this. <laughs> so I just have this and I'm actually gonna frame it on my wall. Uh, after I like clean up the top because a little bit of the cardboard did get frayed up there. But I, I'm gonna turn this into an arts and crafts project where I actually frame this and I put it on my wall. And I'll take pictures when that's done. Because um, this was just... I don't know why this was so funny to me, but it was like the funniest fucking thing in the world a couple nights ago. And I decided that that was a dollar worth spending for some reason. So. Shit. Get out of here. No more. So that tangent's over. Um. What you have reminded me, Purple, I still plan on writing Azric fanfiction at the end of these streams. That's still gonna happen. So we should probably at some point talk about the methodology we're gonna use for that. I think we need to get like a bullet point list of like, what makes a good fanfic, right? We need to do it like Brian David Gilbert does Unraveled, 
where we need to like scientifically break down the goals that we that we aim to achieve by writing an Azric fanfic. Also, the Fire Guardian gets his own battle theme. You just heard a little bit of it there when we like walk next to his arena on accident. Speaking of, I think we're about to fight him right now. Yep. Let's get a look at this. This prime motherfucker. Now this guy is cool. He's just got a giant afterburner on his back. And he just shits out fire from his orb, but... And, like, he's got the fire symbol on his, like, head fin. This guy's really cool. And he is not amused. Alright. Whoa. All oh, right. All right. No nose. Robots don't need noses. Okay. So, what? All right. So we should probably uh, armor up. Isn't there? Ow. Ice armor? Is that a thing? There we go. Stop. Good lord. How do I how do I dodge those? You you can't dodge it by going sideways, so But he's actually only taking damage from fire right now for some reason. But then he immediately turns around and hurts you. Can you stop? Come here. Alright. I cannot find a way to avoid taking damage on this dude. Thankfully, it's only very small bits of damage, but... Alright, and I locked myself in the corner. No, come on. Once you got the armor, it's barely any damage. If I had a full health bar, I'm going to die here, but, uh... If I had a full health bar, this wouldn't be a problem. Um... So why is he only killable by fire attacks? That seems like the opposite. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's like a thing because he's a robot and we're making him overheat. Maybe we're overheating him. Then again, maybe I'm overthinking it. And this game has no real reason. And it just that's just how they designed it. Uh, Alright. Here's the thing. If I touch that... I save and I win, but if this guy hits me, I die. I just need to touch that and then die immediately afterwards and I'll get health back. Please don't. Please don't. Nice. Okay, now I'm gonna go die. Thanks. <laughs> Press the A button to continue your quest. Cool. Alright. Oh, do I ha Oh, no. Oh, no. It doesn't save your phases. Oh, 
Okay, so the save point doesn't actually know that I... The save point does not care that I've killed his first phase. Alright, well, I needed all that health anyways. So this works, I guess. It's not what I was hoping for, but we would have had to do this anyways. Ow. Save point cares not for the toils of man. Yeah, that... That just seems really undodgeable. Man, how far does it go? It just does not care. Also, just messes up your frame rate. Yeah, you can't, like, jump out of the way. Um, he left a lot of fire here. Which is annoying. And then he does, like, damage afterwards when he spreads out his fire. If you're close enough, you can kind of, like, jank it to the side and get out of the way. But only barely. Alright, that was a clean, cleanish first phase, though. Oh, wait. Oh, you have to, like, jump down from here. I see. We didn't actually have to leave the arena the first time anyways. Which is good, because we would have just died immediately as soon as we went down there. We gotta jump down right here. I think, anyways. Yeah, I think we're overheating him, which is why he, like, poops out fire every time. What a... what? Is he... what are those? Hold on, I'm gonna freeze the game next time he does that. What are these? Oh, they're like fire squids. Alright. Ow. Oh, I don't have armor. No, wrong one. No. Well, this is a lot easier to dodge than the other things, so, I mean, I'll take it. He needs to, like, get out of his fire, though. Yeah, like that. Oh, you can actually hit him. And then they just burn out on the floor. <laughs> Don't give up, fire squids. Are you making fun of me because I've I've said that three times purple? Or did you just not listen to me any of the three times that I said it? <laughs> now like like get me like listen for a second. Hear me out. Maybe the fire hurts him because he overheats. That's just like a crazy theory that I have. This is the the barrel room. Yeah, this, this fight is less cool than the water fight, for sure. Ow. Oh, let me guess, he's gonna do both now. He's gonna do squids and fire. Yep. No, that's just more squids, actually.
Yeah, okay, he does do both. Wow, the fire is a lot faster this time, too. All right. I think that's it. At least he had a much more satisfying death than the Water Guardian did. He just fucking explodes. Hey, do you think... Do you think maybe the fire damaged him because it made him overheat? I'm like just now thinking that. That that might be the reason why the fire damages him. Just something to think about. Fire disc. Complete. And the fire realm is restored to order. Though it doesn't have like a cool thing happen like the whirlpool. Because the Fire Realm is kind of just like always fucked no matter whether it's working well or not. Everything is just on fire. So. You know. Our Axiom got spiky though. Look at our Axiom. It has spikes around it now. Now it does more damage. No, I did not mean to go back up. Yeah, so that fight was garbage. Uh, <laughs> Goggles never get upgraded, but that would be really cool if they did. I would like different outfits for Azric. I believe Azric never puts on the goggles, no. I think they just sit on top of his forehead. Also, we've got frame lag again, so hold on. I don't get that reference. Part of me is kind of glad I don't get that reference that you just made. And look, this thing is on fire now. It's about as disappointing as the Fire Realm boss was. Okay, time to go to the Earth Realm to solve crystal puzzles and go to one of my favorite Earth Realm areas too. This has been a pretty eventful stream. Killed two bosses, we're about to go to a new area. Didn't get lost in any mazes. Might actually knock out all three of the basic bosses uh, if this goes well. Because we only need this one disc fragment and then we'll be. Uh, we will be capable of challenging the Earth Guardian. And then it's basically we go to the air realm after that, and then after the air realm, it's the life realm. And then it's the death realm. And then the game's over. I'm really excited because, like, all three of those areas are cool as hell, though. Like, air, life, and death are, like, cool, cool, and cooler. bad part about air, as you can probably 
guess on your own without seeing it. It's a lot of bottomless pit platforming. <laughs> Which, you know, that would be a problem if you were bad at video games, so it's a good thing that I'm playing. And uh, nothing bad could ever happen. So this part of the Earth Realm is all about this big-ass tree in the middle. Oh, hold on. That that thing... These things that I've been murdering, that one just did something really cute. Hold on. Do it again. Do it again while we're watching. I only caught the tail end of it. Hello. Are you running away from me? Yes, it is. <laughs> what is that? What is that you're doing there? What's that move called? Please roll over. It was really cute when you rolled over. Do it again. Alright, whatever. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's taking a shit. Thanks, purple. <laughs> sure, that's exactly what it is. This deceptive area contains many puzzles. Okay. Uh oh. Wow. You didn't even get knocked over. I think they're actually invincible. Uh, they're not invincible, but they're they're. I don't think they are damaged by the uh, shockwave. I think these guys are immune. I think that's their element. Bonk. Okay. Let's hear it, Elvis. This deceptive area contains many puzzles designed to prevent further progress into the Earth realm. Align the mirrors to enable the force field elevators, and to open the path back to the Earth Realm hub. Play the correct song in the song room to open the doors to the elevator in the Great Tree. I like. Let me let me make this clear. He doesn't say. He says there's a bunch of puzzles that are here to prevent progress into the Earth Realm. He does not say it's to like prevent progress to intruders or the unworthy or something. He specifically just says like progress in general like they just didn't they just wanted to make things difficult for everybody all right so we got to hit it with air fire earth water fire air is that what it said water fire air uh, I think we actually have to go to the other crystals. It, this may require that we actually... I mean... Mm, well, that's right. Uh-oh. I We may actually not be able to cheese this. We may not be able to cheese this. I think we actually need to go find the other crystals. I I thought I found the tornado one. But I might be crazy. I know where one of them is. It's actually nearby. It's it's at the beginning of the Earth Realm. Um just so we're clear. Yeah, no, I, I don't think I'll be able to do this one without Activating the other crystals. Mm. Mm. Cool. Well, let's go do that then. The problem is, I don't know where the fourth crystal is. I know there's one at the beginning of the Earth Realm, which we're going to go do right now. There's one at the bottom of the mine. 
that also had our that had uh, one of I think fire level two in it. Um, and there was one in the other mine section that we got to by uh, drilling into the wall or drilling into the floor. And there's one more after that, and I don't know where that is. Can you wanna, does anyone wanna Google the crystal locations for me really quick? one crystal right back here that we can activate. Oh, don't launch me up. I want to ride. I want to ride. Thank you. There are two bucket things. Yeah. I got those two. Okay, so one of the other scoops leads to a crystal then. Well, the other one leads to the... I know where it leads. I don't think it leads to a crystal, though. But okay, I'll, I'll take his word for it. Well, we'll go check out the other one after this then, if, if that's what he thinks. This is the lightning one. I said the lightning one. I said the lightning one. I said the lightning one. Okay, so I said the lightning one. There we go. Cool. Lightning activated. The way the puzzle works, by the way, in case you were curious, is that if you, if you listen... It lights up the order and like it, it basically plays notes and you just remember what which ones it lights up on and you have to hit it with that element in that order you have to memorize the order from all four of the different crystals which each show you when to do everything separately which uh, isn't a very fun puzzle in my opinion. If you were to ask me, I would say that's actually a pretty shitty puzzle. Because it mostly just involves you going around and taking notes about the order of different... Does Azric have any fun puzzles? Hmm. Well, there's another one in that same area. As Eldwin said, that whole area is just full of fun puzzles. Um, besides the crystal one, there's like a Christmas tree light one where you have to line up some beacons to light up different globes. And it's, it's kind of like a simple logic puzzle where you have to like arrange the lights all over the area to, uh, to light up all the different globes at once. And it's all right. It's better than just going and finding crystals and writing down their sequences. What other puzzles are there? Um, are there other puzzles? I'm... I don't think the one in the life realm counts. There's a mini game in the life realm. But I don't think it counts as a puzzle so much as it is like a skill arcade kind of game. Which we'll worry about that one when we get to there too. It, it's more akin to like the way the... Uh, So the other crystal should be somewhere in this area, though I don't know where it would be. Alright, fuck you too. 
It's not like down here, is it? Um, it's more akin to like what the water spout was in the first area. Yes, it's making giant dice. Giant rock dice. Actually, it's not. It's getting rocks and then literally just grinding them up immediately for some purpose. With like, those look like teeth and I really don't like it. I don't like that they look like teeth. I'm assuming this is what he meant by the other Ferris wheel because the other one leads to Puzzle Land, and the other other one is the one we just came from that led to that crystal, and this is the only other Ferris wheel, so. Oh, is that it over there? No, that, that over there is the, uh... That across the way is the Earth Guardian stronghold. Which we need our last Earth Disc to get through there. And I think we need to solve the crystal puzzle in order to... In order to access the last Earth Disc fragment, but maybe you can get it before. I didn't explore that side area. No. This is not the way to the crystal. No. 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 Wait, I hear a crystal. Do you hear that? Shush music, shush. Actually, I think, well. Why can I not? There we go. Jesus, okay. There's a crystal like all the way over there. But I feel like I wouldn't be able to hear it from here if that's the crystal I'm hearing. Although, no, I would have to activate this crystal anyways, so I wouldn't be hearing it because it wouldn't be going yet. Let's see, I'm looking it up right now. Oh, okay, it's back, it's back by the grinders. It is over here, but it's back by the grinders. I looked up, like, a real guide. I'm pretty sure this is actually the guide that I fucking used when I was a kid playing this game. It looks really familiar. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm out of air power. <laughs> I can't get back through this. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, well fucking kill me, dog. Because I need air power. The guides you've been giving me are... Uh, great for entertainment value. Press the A button to continue. So thanks for that. Okay, perfect. This is actually pretty much exactly where we needed to go anyways. Apparently there's a cave above... 
one of these before it jumps into a grinder. Aha! Of course, it's so obvious. How could anyone miss that? Really, it was I who was the fool. Cool. Puzzles, bitch. Let's go do them. Each of these gems represents a, a specific element. Uh, that one represents piss. That's a gross word, isn't it? Like, I'll drop an F-bomb consistently, and it doesn't even make me flinch. But I don't like saying that one. That one just sounds gross. And yet, in its written form, I feel like it's really funny. I just don't like it when it comes out of my mouth. No, get get in the... You need to get in there, Azric. All right. Azark's trying so hard. <laughs> I'll never be able to say that word better than Vinny does. So. I shouldn't even try. friends. I've come for more health. Bonk. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, bam. Ba -da -dum, bam, bam, bam. And yeah, look, they're all activated now. Alright, let's scroll back up to the order. We got air, fire, earth, water, fire, air. Fire Earth. Air Earth. Water f Fire Air. Earth Fire Air. Fire Earth. And it's not even, like, a good song. <laughs> they, What they could have done to make this puzzle, like, good is they've already got, like, a leitmotif for the Earth Realm. They could have made this, like, play the Earth Realm theme and then, like, tie each element to a note of the Earth Realm motif. Just do that. So I don't know if this actually works or not. But if it is, this will be like our first temporary foray into the, the air realm. It does. We can just go to the air realm for a little bit. 
Kind of. It's kind. Of, it's more like where the Earth realm meets the Air realm. Where the Earth meets the sky. Because we're going into the big tree. And then we're immediately going to go back down the elevator because this isn't actually where we need to be right now. Yeah, this tree is very large. It's got good music, though. Check it. Check out this cool area that we're leaving now. It is surprisingly nonlinear. It's got. Okay. Yeah, thanks for the. Yeah. Good pun. You bastard. For those of you at home watching on YouTube, uh, I was going to say it. I'm going to say it. Purple said, I did not know Azric was this nonlinear. Now it's got branching paths. Because we were on a giant tree. And also we weren't supposed to be there yet. Truly, the breath of every human being on this planet is wasted. Uh, not coming out of Purple's mouth. His illustriousness. His genius. Um, okay, the button does wake up. You just gotta wait for it. So here's that Christmas tree puzzle we were talking about earlier. Note how the beam of light goes through solid objects, because that's how it works. So you have to line it up perfectly with an orb that like fits it. And this is kind of the tutorial one, because it only actually fits one orb. And you can see down below on like the left and the right there, it actually keeps track of which orbs you've lit. There's three red ones and three blue ones. Uh, it'll let you know which one, how many of each you've lit up. And the goal is to light all three of them. Or all six of them. Yeah, like this one can't light that. Because uh, it's not the right size. And also, I think, because it's going through a rock. <laughs> and this one's too close. So it can't eclipse that one either. It has to, like, perfectly eclipse it. Which that one does like that. So the tutorial one, just to let you know how it works, is that one right there. And now there's, I think, yeah, two other ones, and we need to arrange them all. To hit all the globes. And they can hit more than one at once, I believe. Or wait, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm thinking about it now. I think you only need to do red and then blue. Because this requires three red to activate this, like, this gravity lift. So I don't think the goal is to get them all lit at once. I think it's to get all the red ones lit and then all the blue ones lit. To access two different sets of areas. Nope. Nope.
There's a lava fella in here, ain't there? Yes! Yes, there is! Confirmed, there is. That's actually all we can do over in this direction. Oh. <gasps> Press the A button to continue your quest. I think if I had just committed to that jump, it would have been fine. Whoa, okay. Alright, dude. Alright. Oh, are we gonna have to do the crystal puzzle again? God damn it, we have to do the crystal puzzle again. Air, fire, earth. Water, fire, air. After this, I'm saving. Fire, earth. Air, earth. And yeah, it is kind of lame that the game lets you, like, soft lock yourself and have to reset with the death. Nope, wrong one. Um, it is really lame that it does that. I don't even think this game should have limited elemental powers, to be honest. Like, it doesn't add anything to the game. I never feel like I'm like, oh. I never feel like I'm managing my resources. I just feel like I have them, and then they run out, and then it's annoying, and I have to get more. Which is not, like, ideal. Alright, what's actually... What's over here? Because I don't think we ever went up here. On our previous adventure. Stop. A passage. Secret passage. a single imp down there. Like, this game could have operated completely the same and just had uh, had infinite elemental power and I think that just would be a general improvement. When I start the uh, when I start the fan when I start the fan project to make a sequel to Azric, we'll make sure we just we'll do that. I wonder, yeah, hold on, there's like a path down there. What's going on there? Hold on, I'm going to check that out after this. Yeah. <sighs> I got really tired all of a sudden. Um, I would like it. If this game had unlimited unlimited elemental powers, and then like uh, uh, if the combat also whoa no, but what's up? I think that's a slide. I don't think it would have mattered anyways. Where am I going though? I was not ready for this. I guess I'm going here. The game has decided this is where I'm going now.
That's a big bottomless pit. That better be climbable, or I'm gonna sue Microsoft. Okay. Guess I don't have to sue Microsoft for uh, emotional distress. Oh look, it's another one of these. Why are there so many rock fellas? Once again, this is pretty straightforward because the only one this can actually reach is the red one on the right there, so. That makes that choice pretty rough. This is a, sl yeah, so these are slides. I can sort of, kind of, go up them anyways. <laughs> Can I get all the way up this? Well, it has a very steep incline right there. Hold on. Hold on, though. Hold on, though. Is this level three? No. It's not. I can do this. I can do this. Uh, no. I need the acid out. Give me the acid. Okay, I guess you can only do it from the other side. Because this game's broken and dumb. <laughs> I can't believe they thought of that. Oh, this just loops back this way. Alright, we're going to try this again. I actually don't have enough air to go get that and also come back, so never mind. We're not going to do that. We're going to go to a safe point. Oh, come on. Get out of the way. Out of the way. I did not think he was still chasing me. Please give me your health. Thank. Oh, and I've got frame lag again. Alright, I'm gonna try and find this last beacon to activate that last red thing, and then that'll probably be the end of the stream. Oh! There we go, we saw it. We caught it. We caught it on film. That's your reward. Last time 
dead ahead is I think where the zip line ended up bringing us. So we haven't been that way yet. Yeah, it brought us down there. So let's see what's over on this side. Squizzy. Uh, there's nothing to do on this side until we've activated the lift. So where's the last light? The last light's up there. Oh, or it's right there. Hmm. Let's check out the water. I don't know why I said water like that. Let's check out the water. Oh, do they got old fish here? They do got old fish. I feel like there's a joke to make because I called them old fish because they look like old men when you get close to them. And old is like an anagram of LOD, which is level of detail, which is what that actually is. So just go ahead and like put that joke together for me. And just like come back with that one and I'll take credit for it. Is there a pearl in this clamp? I think there is actually. I think that's what that is. Yeah, there's a pearl in there. That's a big pearl, but it's also a big clamp. If there's anything going on down there. Besides sleeth and gems. Yeah, this area is nice because it's just like abundant with life. Lots of animals running around, very lush and green. Oh, it's nighttime. All the animals have turned into mo murderous monsters. Yeah, there's nothing down here. Just a lot of gems to collect. Fine. I'm out of air power. I can't fly anymore. That's dangerous. Hopefully I can still make all these jumps without it. I can't. All right. I guess I'll go back to the save point and then just uh, uh, kill myself and then end the stream there. <laughs> You can go to bed knowing, you can go to bed knowing that you called it at the lo Floating bush. One floating bush there. You can go to bed knowing that you called the me wasting all my air power. I hope that brings you satisfaction. Uh, have a good night, purple.
Yay. Okay. That is where we're going to end the Azure portion of tonight's stream.